What is up, everybody? Mr. Hizzo here. Today I got something, something special for you. All right, I got that, got that math heat, that math fire, that, that flame that sparks the ignition in your brain. This topic today is one of the most interesting things that we can see in math, and one of which is today's video, where two plus two can equal zero. And you might be thinking to yourself, how? How is this true? I've been told my whole life two plus two is four. And that one weirdo on YouTube told me two is equal to zero. And that other weirdo on YouTube told me two plus two is five. But this guy, Mr. Hizzo, is gonna show you all how two plus two can equal zero. So let's just jump into it. So what got me initially thinking about this problem was this IDS mode in my car. Um, you see, as I press this button here, my car cycles through some different drive modes. And these drive modes are Econ, Normal, Sport, Sport Plus. Um, and I start my car up in, in the Sport mode there. And notice that every time I press this button, it cycles through these modes. And so, um, as I go from Econ to Sport, that's two. And then Sport to Econ, that's two more. Sport to Econ, you can see that it cycles through these. And I started thinking to myself, well, what happened if I gave these, these, these modes numbers? More specifically, what happened if I gave these drive modes integer values? And as we see here, I'm just cycling through again these different drive modes, Sport 2, Sport Plus, to Econ, and then around. Um, and so every time I press that, that IDS button, in the center, it's cycling through these modes and it's cycling in one direction, which is very key. Um, so first thing I wanna do is just give these drive modes integer values. So as you can see, we have the following assignments. So I gave Econ zero, normal one, sport two, and sport plus three. Um, might be counterintuitive for some of us to start at zero, but I'm not talking about the whole numbers here. Uh, or the, the, the natural numbers were one, two, three, four. Um, zero is a very special property because um, between zero and nine is actually 10 numbers. And so it has a very special property, especially when we're dealing with an additive set, which this does seem to be, which I'll look at in just a, a second. Um, so if we notice that there are these members, there's, there's four, and I'm gonna write this in a more traditional set notation, right? So a little curly bracket, zero, one, two, and three. Uh, so these are the members of this set. And notice that as we go from, let's look, we go from econ to sport, so zero to two, and then sport to econ, two to zero. Hmm, Did we, so what's going on here? Um, so we went from, let me just write this. So we had econ normal, sport, sport plus. And so let's say we wanted to start at zero and we wanted to go up two. So zero plus two is two. Ah, but notice we, we were at sport mode and we went up one to three, two plus one is three, but now we went back. And so here we see that two plus two in this case was zero. And you might be thinking, no, 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 that's not fair. That's not fair um, because that's two minus two. But notice, watch again. Does this graphic go backwards? Um, it, it seems like it's only moving south and when it gets all the way south that it does, it goes back to the most northern sp sp spot. Um, and as we can see here, it's because there's only four elements and there's no way for this mechanism to go backwards. It only goes forwards. Um, and so we would say that this is a group under addition and addition only, there's no subtraction here. There's no multiplication. Uh, there's no division that can be done in this group, in this set. This is a set under addition and addition only. And in fact, this is the set um, 
that we have Z4. Uh, it's a set under addition, and it's only if it has four elements. And in this set, two plus two is zero. Um, and even we have three, let's do three plus three. Three, so plus one would be zero, two would be one, three plus three is two. It might be counterintuitive, but let's say that I'm here at sport plus mode, and I want to get to sport mode. So I'm at three, and I want to get to sport. I want to get to two. So I have to go one, two, three spaces. In order to go back one, I must go forward three. And in this set, this special set, and there's sets like this all over the place, mind you, that this is how addition become subtraction, and even more importantly, how two plus two equals zero. Thank you, thank you. The math god is here. Uh, so please save your cheers for, for, the, for the end. Um, I, I will accept donations as well as gifts. So there you have it, two plus two is zero, and even three plus three is two. Crazy daisies, and I'm telling you, these type of sets are, are all around us. They're everywhere, especially when you start looking for them. They're even in our time, in the years, in the weeks. Um, these types of repetitive sets, they come up everywhere. Really, this is just the tip of the iceberg for these types of things. Is it as great as the real numbers? No, nothing is. The real numbers is the best. We get it, you're great. But there's so many other sets that get overlooked. So here we go. Um, and this was, I think, a great video for you guys to kind of expand your minds in the math world. As always, don't forget to like the vid, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell, or don't. But either way, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And with that, all I gotta say is, hizzo, out.